In this video, we're going to look at something called visual binning. And this comes from the idea of to bin, the verb to bin, which simply means take two or more category, or sorry, two more values of some kind and group them into the same sort of category. And to start, we're going to open up, we're going to click File, Open, Data, and we're going to the samples directory like we've been using, and we're going to the employee data.sav file. And the first thing we're going to do is to create a quartile. Here is a good explanation of quartiles. And so essentially what we're going to do is go up to transform and then we're going to come down to visual binning. And then from here, we're going to select the current salary and we're going to create quartiles out of this. So the way you do that is to, first of all, realize it says current variable is salary and we need a new binned variable so I'm going to call this salary quartiles and then we'll get labels associated with this brand new variable so essentially what we're doing is we're going to create a new variable here a new column and what we need to do is to create what are called cut points and a cut point is essentially where you want your division to go now you can make them manually or you can do them um, automatically. Now if you wanted to make them manually essentially you'd be adding them in through here. So you could say instead of uh, where it says high you could change this and say for example you wanted that to be 10,000 and when you do that well it doesn't like commas so you can't do that but you could put the value of 10 1 2 3 in like that and then notice high is on the um, it's always added at the end but I don't really want to do that so I'm going to click on reset and that will as it says reset all variables so that means we're going to need to go back here and type in salary quartile again and make cut points now from here what we want to do is create equal percentiles based on scanned cases and this is a little strange because the number of cut points that we want you might think four because we have quartiles but actually you make three cut points because as we already saw high is already going to be essentially our fourth cut point so we're going to click apply here and notice where we see one two and three of our cut points already entered for us so essentially make cut points the way we did it just fills in these values automatically and now we're going to click on OK it says binning specifications will create one variable and that's what we wanted because we said what's the name of the bend variable and so we're going to see after and we, and we called it salary underscore quartile and that's going to go here at, at the very end after minority and so we'll see the results of this we see it there very good in our vi viewer and now we see the salary quartile listed here now if we wanted to check uh, the value we could go to frequencies and then we could look at the current salary is and click on OK and now we should see the output here we go current salary and now that's just a list of the salaries of course so if what we want to do and this is in fact what we want to do see our new variable in the list then we need to of course uh, add the new variable there and you're gonna see that again at the end because this is the latest uh, value that we have so we can if you want to remove that you can reset it or just click on it and hit the reverse arrow button there but I'll do it this way and now we see current salary binned and we see the one two three and four quartiles that we expected with their frequency listed and the percentage breakdown right there